here's a quick demonstration of the three classes of uh, levers that we can we can make. Uh, in this first example over here, we've got some load that we want to lift on the left hand side. The fulcrum is this blue uh, triangle where where the uh, bar is going to pivot and it, and it sits right in the middle here and on the right hand side uh, we apply a force. In this case I'm going to apply a force downwards and this downwards force is going to lift the load up on the other side. So here's the here's the lever and we've got load on the left, fulcrum or pivot point in the middle and the applied force on the right. So this is the first class of of lever we can see. This resembles very much a seesaw. Uh, but if we move over to the right over here, uh, we have also uh, a second class of lever. In this case over here, the load is still on the left, and the, the fulcrum now is completely on the right. And in between the load and the fulcrum, we apply a force, uh, kind of like this. And as we lift upwards in the middle, uh, the entire bar is going to lift, pivoting, it pivots, on the right, uh, on the right over here, where the where the uh, point is, uh, the fulcrum, the pivot point. Uh, but what it does is, it indeed it lifts the, the the load upwards as a lever is supposed to do. Uh, and if we move over to the last one over here, the third class we can have is um, is a a lever where the load again is is uh, on uh, on this side of the. So the, the, the fulcrum is on the left over here, the load is in the middle, and uh, we pull upwards this way. So in two cases, we've got the load and the, and the, um, the applied effort on the same side. The difference between this case and the other case, if I, if I zoom out a little bit so we can see the two cases, the difference is uh, where the applied force is. So over here we had the applied force in between the load and the fulcrum, while over here we have the load in between the applied force and the fulcrum. So we have to be careful, these two cases resemble each other a lot.